Sometimes we need to write our thoughts down in an unstructured way to process or be creative. This is where mind maps come in. In this video, we'll use the mind map tool in Miro to prepare for an upcoming meeting. Along the way, we'll explore how to organize information using a mind map, brainstorm together to create a mind map, and make it visual with some final touches. First, we'll click on More Tools in the left-hand toolbar, select Mind Map, and place it on the board. Let's name our central topic Meeting Prep. Now, what are some things we need to consider for the meeting? Let's start with who's attending. Just hit Tab to create a new node. Right, let's call this node Team. And voila, we have our first branch. Now, we can dive into this branch and map out the team, or stay at the top level and list other main topics. It's totally up to us. Mind maps mirror how we think, so we can shape them as we like. Maybe we'll complete this branch before moving on. We'll click Team, press Tab, and type a name. Then press Enter to create sibling nodes, and rinse and repeat. Looks like Joe has joined the board to help us out. Joe tends to work a bit differently. She likes to have a bird's eye view before diving in, so she'll start by creating new branches for all the main topics. All solid approaches, and we can decide what makes sense for each of us while still co-creating with our team. Look at that, we're already done. Now we can use, hold on, looks like Joe has a comment. Shouldn't Juan be invited as well? Oh, that's right. And now I think about it, some other names are missing too. Thanks, Joe. Great catch. On it. Let's click Team and press Tab. We'll call this new node Attendees. Now let's select these nodes and drag them one level down. We'll create two more branches named Optional Attendees and Send Recap. There, we have plenty of room for everyone. That's the cool thing about mind maps. When we work together to create one, we discover new ideas or connections that were missed before, like Joe just did. And all that's left is to spruce up our map. There's a neat trick to make sure all nodes are nicely arranged, especially when they're spread out like this. We'll select the central node and click Align Child Nodes. These two ideas are related to each other. We'll select this node, click on the blue dot, and then drag the line to the other node. How about making it bigger so it's easier to read? Let's select the central node and increase the font size. Perfect. Time to add some color. We can select any node and change its color from this menu. This is great for color coding the branches or to make everything bright and colorful. Let's select the central node then the color options, and randomize. Nice. Finally, we can always go to more tools on the left-hand toolbar and add stickers and emojis, upload images, or draw with the pen to make our mind map really creative and visual.